Alright, if you're watching this video, it's because you've passed PFA 1 and you are basically getting the idea of what we're trying to do with these bar charts. Um, and I want you to move on to the final product, which, as I've said before, is going to be more creative and interesting. So this is in checkpoint 3 is where you're going to get this started. And if you click into checkpoint 3, what you're going to see is this. Um, there are actually two options for a checkpoint um, three or for the final product actually and I wouldn't recommend the second object uh, uh, second option unless you really know what's going on but I'm gonna recommend it here if you want to use it so option a like the first option is what we started preparing for in checkpoint two and you find a video on YouTube you define all, our, all the objects in your system and you break things down moment by moment this thing that says T equals refers to the clock reading which is just talking about like the the time on the YouTube video and you're not describing energy transfer or even energy storage here you're focusing on the evidence that you can see in the video you're gonna start out with a summary um, just like a really brief description here is an example and you can find it down here on slide 5 um, notice I haven't even used complete sentences here I'm just giving myself some idea of what the most important evidence is. Um, this will allow me, uh, Mr. Kramer, to give you some feedback on what you're focusing on. But notice I've chosen four moments carefully that make sense to me, um, and I have some reason for why I chose those moments. Later on then, you would then break these down in more detail. Um, in the checkpoint, you're just doing two, moment A and moment B. Um, but later on, you'll do more than that, like four or maybe even five. There is an exemplar of how to do this also. Um, notice this description has a much more detailed description of uh, that same evidence that I included in this summary here. Now, the second option is really only open to you if you really know what's going on and if you, and you want to be extra creative and that has to do with the temple of transfers game most of you have seen this at this point if you click this link it'll take you to this game um, and the cool thing about this is it had like students at, at DSISD over the years have contributed to this game and they've made some like really creative uh, sometimes very gruesome deaths so if I intentionally click the wrong answer here um, like maybe this one, then I see this death that was written by Spencer and Tyler back in 2017. Um, so this, if this option is appealing to you, if you have kind of a gruesome sense of humor, then you can do this as a final product. Um, the thing that I need to stress is you need to have at least three slides. Maybe you could make it work with two, but I want to explain what this is actually about. So if you're, in, if you're mostly interested in the video analysis, you can stop watching this video now and start working on that. But if this Temple of Transfers option seems interesting to you, I want to explain what it's all about. Um, you can start out by writing or drawing about a gruesome or funny death. I recommend drawing and writing if possible. Um, if you're enthusiastic about drawing, then we can work with a drawing only, and I'll probably write a description of it later. But you need to, in either case, show evidence that people are gonna use to figure out what that, um, what that death connects to in the bar chart. The reason for this is it's gonna actually be the door that the person clicks on to get into the room that kills them, if that makes sense. I'll show you an, exa an example of that in a second. You also need to write and or draw what's happening in your main room. And that will accompany a bar chart that ends up being the correct answer. So let me just show you one um, that's back here so you can tell what I'm talking about. Um, in this case, Oh, that's a little bit of a weird one. This happens to be one of my favorite deaths, actually, but uh, it's a little bit funny. Um, so this has a description of something happen happening. There was, like, something swinging, and it has now stopped swinging. 
the correct energy transfer here is, okay, there used to be some gravitational energy, but now it is stopped, it, it's not moving, it's not going up high, therefore all of the energy is thermal. So if I click on this third door, that is actually correct and it doesn't kill me and I move on to other doors. But if I click on one of these other doors, then it's going to kill me in some way that connects to this other bar chart. So for example, this is going to smack me in the head and, oh no, sorry, this is different. This, this one, like, I bounce off the walls for uh, forever, for eternity, because there's no loss of energy from gravitational to kinetic. That's funny. If this is interesting to you, these are option B, but if not, option A is probably more straightforward, and you want to focus um, today on finishing this checkpoint, which either, either whichever option you choose.